Good morning. This is Linda, and I just made a nice version of, um, well, you could call it a Girl Scout cookie drink. And I added a lot of ice, so it's filling my container. When I blend something in the um, blender and put it all together, it gets all bubbly and sometimes I drink it and I get all that foam and I don't really like it. So, And I didn't put the ice in this time until after. But I, I took a picture of all the ingredients and I'll post that uh, after it, when I make the video and I get this uploaded. But I, I just wanted to come on and share that um, this week that it's been raining and I've been out and I um, started getting prepared for my trip to Dominica. First thing I had to do was to make sure my knees would not give me trouble because to get from here to there you have to go up and down hills and if you have no cartilage, going down the hill is trouble. And I'm going to be doing a lot of walking in Dominica because I go visit the shut-ins, the elderly, and uh, they live on these steep hills. So I'm bringing my walking sticks that I got from REI to help me just to navigate. This, this, this chick I is uh, <laughs> afraid of heights. In fact, when I, when I was watching children that were walking around and I'm like thinking, okay, hold their hands, do this, do this. They don't because they're so used to living on the hills, the children know how to react and be. I took care of children, so my first reaction is grab their hand and help them. Anyways, um, that was one thing I did. The, the, that was in the afternoon. I made uh, both appointments for the same day, uh, and my first appointment was with my doctor. And she took down all the information I was giving her and did all the, she did a physical even though I went there for one thing, she made sure I had my physical. So she's doing all the work and asking me all the questions and showing how much she cares when I'm talking about my issues with my job. And um, I'm not going to go into that now because I really wanted to talk about my protein drink. But <laughs> I got off the subject. Anyways. Uh, Today she's working on the, the paperwork, to send the paperwork, but um, just to let you know, I've been out of work since May 10th of last year, 2010, because um, my limited duty or on-the-job work injury job offer was re withdrawn. The, the one that I had done for 10 years that kept getting updated with medical um, was withdrawn because, as many of you have heard, the post office is running out of money. Anyways, so they want to get pit, ri rid of people that um, work there and they have this program. Part of the program is to get rid of people and one of the things they did was um, have a team come out and look at my medical without looking at all the medical they decided that I could do something that my doctor says no I can't do so I saw that they only had two forms but they didn't have the narrative the, the letter she wrote that said that when I have 
repetitive work to do, I am not able to do it. It comes from some skeletal muscular issue. That's what she said, you know, because that's what happens. I can turn my head. I don't have any pain, but when I start doing something that's constant, like even chopping up vegetables, stickers, a lot of different things. Well, <clears throat> that's the job they gave, and they gave me that job, which was repetitive, for one hour a day, five days a week. So from 40 hours to 5 hours. All I could think of was crazy and, and don't swear and uh, keep keep all those bad thoughts. When they were showing me the paper, I'm saying, what? But stay focused and um, I had to sign it. I had to sign that jo new job offer even though I knew it was wrong, so I wrote, I was signing it under protest. So I haven't been working since that day in May, the day after Mother's Day in May. Came back from delivering the first part of the express and mail and came back and was shot in the heart, basically. I think it was my, my stomach. I, I had some of my protein drink. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about my protein drink, and uh, I wasn't going to talk about what's been bothering me for quite a few months. Uh, I left my job. I um I did a lot of things like answer the phones and found packages for people, delivered mail to to different people of businesses. I had a, a full work day. But they decided that some of the things I was doing they that my doctor said I could do, they don't want me to do. Mm -hmm. How do I break this? Um, how do I get out of this? It sets you back. It really does. So, <laughs> one of the things I've been doing, you know, to keep me healthy and to uh, not let food addiction get to me, because uh, I was over 300 pounds at one time, is to um, keep going with my protein. So, today I made a protein drink with um, J-Rob. I hope that's in focus for you. And J-Rob is the, the, one of the best forms of uh, whey protein isolate that I as an RNY patient need. It has uh, 25 grams of protein per serving. I added some coconut juice and this has a lot of sugars I'm able to tolerate sugars and I did not use the whole container but if you did use the whole container that's 23 7 grams of sugar and that's really too much I used a um, fat free milk and I put 10 ounces in it says that it's uh, 8 grams of protein so 25 and 8 will give you 33 grams of protein. But I'm thinking since it was 10 grams, I have actually 35 grams of protein because I 
two more. I uh, <clears throat> added this uh, sugar-free Da Vinci caramel syrup to the coconut juice, the milk, and the j raw protein. It did taste like a um, Girl Scout cookie. Well, what I remember what they tasted like. But it originally it wasn't dark enough for me, so I uh, went and got my Hershey's cocoa. I have some fair traded um, cocoa, but it's the fair traded cocoa is actually for hot cocoa. So this this says that it's uh, one gram of protein per tablespoon. And I keep putting the tablespoons in, so I probably have two more. I probably have about 37 grams of protein. But that being said, I want to tell you, it tastes delightful. So I haven't had those cookies in a long time. No, a real long time. And in fact, hmm, some of that cocoa was still up the top. I stirred it, I mixed it, and I probably should have put it back in the blender. Let me try it. There was a time that I opened up the Girl Scout cookie caramel. Delights. And would we'll take one and two and three and the whole, what, I don't remember, was it four or six? This is a better substitute to your health. And uh, I would ask you to pray for me and um, I will continue keeping you in my prayers. Bye-bye. Many blessings.